Hey backers, I've got some great news. We finalized the design of the beta tester kit. split up and separated some of the different aspects that affect how the printer works, so that we can tune one without affecting the other. We split up things like the spring force, the dampening, and the power of the coils, the size and shape of the coils, and, and alleviating the memory. So it's really, it's really important to the project that we can have all of these things separate so that we can tune them each individually to make the Peachy Printer operate as best it can. This is going to be a great opportunity for our beta testers because lots of you have great ideas about how to make the printer better and with this design you'll be able to pick and choose different parts for different parts of the printer and basically just um, play with exactly how it works. We're now on P27 so there's been about 27 designs. And it's just amazing to me how many different ways there is to do a peachy printer, to do a $100 printer. There's just so many ways to actually do it. So it's, it's rather surprising to me that it hadn't been done before. We had actually some fundamentally very different printers uh, going you know, from two mirrors to one mirror, uh, you know, causing a completely different system, uh, doing things sort of um, on a, on a flat plane on one, on one chip and the whole thing is flexible. Doing, doing things with uh, torsionally uh, pushing magnetic forces and plunger pushing magnetic forces. So there's been, there's been a lot of different, um, kind of like completely different printers that we've come up with. Even though sometimes we come up with a fundamentally different printer and it turns out to be not that great of a way to do it in the end. The process of going down that road is extremely valuable. You learn things uh, about the whole system that you couldn't learn by going down the, uh, the said best path. So it's very important to explore the dead ends. And often somewhere along your way to a dead end is something very valuable that then makes it into uh, what we're going to decide is our best way to make a PG printer. So, uh, it's very valuable to have explored all these different ways. It turns out that uh, P27 is actually a combination of methods that we found uh, in about four or five other different versions of an inexpensive 3D printer. And so we picked basically the very best pieces from all of these different revisions and put them into one printer and we're really, really excited about the flexibility, kitability, and tunability that that gets us in this printer. Would you say you've been receiving a lot of help from any of the TechWorks members on the hardware development specifically? Absolutely. Uh, Eric Tetland has been working full time. I'm just, I'm, I'm absolutely shocked and impressed to see. Uh, someone else working this hard on the project. Um, up until now, it's been uh, me and Nathan that have been staying up and doing these 24, 30 hour shifts, which is just crazy. Um, and to see uh, our employees uh, taking it that seriously is just amazing. Eric has been uh, literally up for 24 hours at a time working on the hardware. I'm Eric. I, uh, I'm a student at the University of Saskatchewan. I met Ryland through TechWorks, uh, the makerspace in Saskatoon here, and also I was taking a business class um, at, where I had to interview a new business owner. Okay, so basically I want to know how you went about designing and inventing the things, new and unique things like the Peachy printer. Yeah. Um, First of all, uh, what kind of other projects have you attempted like the PG printer and what kind of interests led to you making it? Well, 
uh, I started the project because I wanted a 3D printer and I couldn't afford one. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that I'm about to receive half a million dollars, but I'm, I'm like pretty near broke right now. <laughs> and I've been that way for, you know, most of my life. I'm not a wealthy person at all. I really like the way he invents and uh, was really interested enough to get on board. So at, at PG, I'm pretty much apprenticing Ireland, learning how the business is run and uh, how to build community and think outside the box. Eric's really new to the team and that means that he came with some different perspectives and different ways to do things. He's uh, quite strong in, in math and so he likes figuring things out mathematically ahead of time and then uh, placing them with the math. And when we moved to building the printer in OpenSCAD, with, with Eric's skills there and uh, his new process and his new perspectives, that really uh, changed, changed how we did things. And so you can see there's sort of a, a fundamental uh, change in the design where instead of connecting things to the case, as I usually do, I usually just sort of take some pieces that I know I need and glue them to a plane or two and, and get them to work. Whereas Eric has basically said, what are the concepts that really need to move here? How do things need to be held? How do things need to uh, slide? You know, on what axis does this need to move? And he's taken those concepts, done the math, and built the pieces to fit all those motions. And that's made the printer flexible, uh, basically in its, in its scale and the, and the parts and the distance that the parts have from each other uh, basically their relationships in space are constricted where they need to be and flexible where where they want to be and that's it's really helped the uh, printer stay small through the revisions um, and it's just a, it's a wonderful thing yeah I work long long hours uh, not much sleep and uh, lots of times I'd spend a lot hours and hours and uh, it seems like you're not getting nowhere but uh, takes those hours of getting nowhere to get to that point where you have a design that finally works. And uh, it's, it's really rewarding once you get to that point that uh, you didn't think you could get to. For the first year of development uh, on the Peachy printer, it was basically, it was just me. I was developing it myself and, and nobody knew if it was a good idea or not. Uh, now, uh, we know that it's a good idea. And development has finally uh, flowered into being something done by many people. And the perspectives that come from, from the, the many people working on the project, of course, they just advance the speed of development uh, so much. And so uh, Eric has really done that for the hardware now. Uh, now we have somebody else has come on and really taken the hardware seriously and worked on it a lot. Uh, and brought all kinds of new perspectives and skills to the hardware. So to wrap things up backers, we're getting very close and I'm extremely excited to have you guys on board uh, and having printers in your hands because I know that you have wonderful ideas and the opportunity to implement them is so important for this project right now. We need to know exactly what you feel the PG printer should be and enable you to be creative with it and respect your freedoms to change this wonderful tool and hopefully we can just pull all kinds of interesting things into the final version of the PG printer. Thank you so much for your support and we'll catch you next time.